Alright, hey guys, this is Nick, and today we're going to be talking about Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Reaper of Souls is obviously the expansion pack to Diablo 3, and uh, among the things that added is, um, you know, an extra act in campaign mode, which is the mode that you would normally play if you just were starting the game. Uh, I'm not going to show you that today, I'm actually going to show you adventure mode, which is um, basically what you would play after you've beaten the game. Um, it's basically the same thing as campaign mode except for it's ultra simplified and it makes these things called bounties which uh, give you objectives so that essentially you just get to go out and kill things loot stuff and get stronger um, which for those of you who don't know Diablo 3 is all about um, Diablo 3 is an action RPG uh, dungeon crawler which again all about getting items and being awesome uh, and uh, as we're running around here we're going to be finding lots of uh, very normal monsters, which are going to be very easy, and we're also going to be finding, you know, golden monsters, which um, are called elites, and they have a bunch of different uh, prefixes, which basically change the way that they fight and attack you. Um, it, which this is a good point to talk about uh, pacing, which is really, really, really one of Diablo 3's strong points. Um, right now, I'm just kind of mindlessly killing, and you know, I'm pretty relaxed. I'm pretty, you know, happy just killing stuff. And then all of a sudden I'll see a gold, and I'll tense up, and all of a sudden I'll know that I'm in for a fight, and when I, the fight is over, I'll be getting something that drops, and is awesome. Uh, and that is something that Reaper of Souls um, introduced, which is called uh, Loot 2.0, where essentially they got rid of the auction house that Diablo had initially upon release, um, which kind of defeated the whole purpose of grinding. Uh, which is the whole point of Dungeon Crawler games. So now in Loot 2.0, whenever you see something that drops, chances are it's going to be good for you. Um, chances are you're going to use it. And that's really cool because now um, essentially trading is done with, and now anything that you find is something that's going to be good for you. Um, which again is really, really, really important because um, the only things that you can uh, really earn now are things that you find. So we just entered the ruins, and we're going to kill all of the enemies in ruins level 2. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get to that at the end of this video. And uh, right now we are going to fight an elite, which is something that I talked about before. It's electrified, it has heat link, it's reflecting my damage, it's plagued, a whole bunch of stuff is going on right now. Um, it's a very tense uh, moment uh, in general, and it's just really, really, really fun to be able to, you know, have that moment of challenge, and now all of a sudden I'm back to being zen. Um, and that's one of the you know strong points of Diablo, where um, you have these moments of zen and then the moments of tension, and it's really well paced to the point where you always feel engaged and you always feel like you're having fun and making progress. Um, another really cool thing about Diablo that is different than most dungeon crawlers is that you're able to actually create uh, how your character plays. Uh, we have six different skill slots here, and each one of these things up top is a skill that we could select and each one of these skills has a bunch of sub skills so black hole pulls people and deals damage and then if i want to go with a super massive one it's bigger does more damage and then absolute zero you know improves my cold spells um, which obviously i've been throwing out as frozen orb here might be a good combo who knows um and that's really cool that you can experiment and make all these different builds which is something that a lot of games um, allow you to do sort of but not always um, to the level of uh, Diablo 3. The downside of that, of course, is that you know certain combinations are going to be better than others, and that all of a sudden Blizzard might decide one day that they've had enough of you, and they're going to nerf your build, which, again, I'm on a nerf build right now, um, and I haven't played at all since the patch, so this might get interesting. Um, but that, you know, it, it, the diversity is important because it essentially sets up a precedent where you can be who you want to be and play how you want to play, which I think is really cool. Um, again, we're going to fight another uh, elite here. This one's got fire chains, which I'm going to have to try to run away from and try to attack the life, you know, talk. Um, but again, the bosses in this game are really, really awesome. There's a bunch of scripted story bosses, which I'm probably not going to be able to show you today. And then there's, again, a bunch of these elites, which always have, you know, different kinds of... Uh, ways to attack you and keeps the game feeling fresh and innovative and it's another reason why I think this game should be considered a uh, top video game canon. Um, action RPG games have always been you know a big passion of mine and I love them so 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 much and uh, Reaper of Souls just took all the bad parts about Diablo 3 and really made them into uh, 
positive part to the game now. It just made the game a whole lot more fun. Um, and it looks like I'm probably going to be running out of time, so I won't be able to show you the end of this objective. But if I did, a big box would pop up here and be like, you're awesome, you completed a bounty. And I'd feel all good about myself and get some rewards. And uh, really, that's that's all the Diablo 3 is. It's, it's, it's an experience where you go, you find things, you kill things, you get stronger, you do it with your buddies. There's you know a whole big, long friends list that I could be playing with if anyone was on or loved me. Um, <laughs> and it's just a really, really fun game. Um, that uh, I'm so thankful that the expansion pack did what it did and uh, really took the game to the next level. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have Diablo 3 and you were disappointed like me, get Reaper Souls. You won't regret it. Uh, so see you guys around and thanks for watching.